Today I'm sharing with you guys my favorite products in February and a little bit of January. I didn't do a January favorites because I did a roundup. So I have some products that I've just been loving in the past couple of months. There's makeup, but there's also a little bit of hair, a little bit of candle, some scents, just the way I do it. Anything that has to do with beauty and smelling good. If you're interested, continue watching. Andrew's making me a coffee right now. So grab yourself something to drink and let's hang out together. Like always, I will have some inserts applying some of the products that I'm going to talk about. It's pretty much this makeup look right here. And I'm also going to have timestamps. That way, if you're not interested in a section, you can just kind of skip ahead. Let's start with hair products because I only have one. Um, oh, actually two products. I picked up the Color Wow Style on Steroids. This is supposed to be quite a, it says here a finishing spray and a texture. I use it as a texture spray because it gives so much texture. I mean, my hair is already kind of crazy. We're just going to make it worse. But look, it just, it just gives a lot of texture. Um, I think I saw this on TikTok and they showed these crazy before and afters. Uh, and it really does work. It gives you a lot of volume. However, it also can make your hair look a little bit, sorry, it looks so crazy now, a little bit frizzy. Like I don't find this to smooth out your hair or anything like that. It definitely gives texture, but almost separates the hair. I personally like that mostly when I have my hair smooth. I like big hair, so I don't mind a little bit of frizziness if it gives me more volume, but just be aware of that. I enjoy it and I've been using it a bit. Also the other product, I got my coffee right here. Oh, it looks so good. That just hits the spot. I asked him to put a little bit of condensed milk as a sweetener. It's it's perfect. Back to the hair products. Before I oil my scalp, I am using this bamboo brush and it's from Amazon, not very expensive. And I just kind of brush my scalp and it is so comfortable. It feels like I'm having a scalp massage. So I really like this. I'm like, why didn't I use this before? I should know better, but I love this one. I just kind of rub my scalp and kind of stimulate it. It's great. And then the other one is a clip. This is from Amazon. I think it comes in a set of six, five or six. I have a lot of hair. I've cut quite a bit of it recently, but I don't have claws that hold my entire hair. And this bad boy right here, it, I mean, it, it's tough. It will hold my hair. And the way it's designed, it's not too big, but it holds a lot of hair. So this is another favorite that I discovered. I bought them and I have them all throughout the house. In the cars, in my bedroom, in my kitchen. I have some here. I bought another style. It's right here. This one. This is just so much bigger. It's from Amazon again. Uh, I prefer this one more think if I had like longer hair like I did before I had it down to my belly button uh, and then chopped it off. I think this would have been better, hold a lot more hair, but for my hair right now, this is perfect and it's just tinier and cuter. So great find. It just helps my day to day so much. Those are all the hair products. Let's move on to a candle. Now I've kind of talked a little bit crap about the biradial candles last video or la last roundup video. I said, I love the scent, but they burned uneven. Well, they've been burning extremely even. I've used this candle, the Bibliothèque, my favorite scent. Um, for quite a bit and it burns completely even. And I feel like I've burned it quite a lot and there's not that much used. So are these pricey? Wow, yes, absolutely. Andrew got me the tree house for, oh, Valentine's Day. And this is beautiful as well, but I prefer Bibliotheque. I think this is a little bit more intense. It gives a little bit um, more mood to the room. This one's nice, it's kind of woodsy and it has that bamboo smell and it's unique, but I would say it's not as potent as Bibliotheque and I like it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I would absolutely repurchase Bibliotheque. 
So that's my update on the biradial candles. I know I've kind of talked a little bit bad about them, but they both have been burning even. I think my fault was that I thought it was burned all the way through because I would see uh, around the wax that was melted a dip, but I didn't leave it long enough. So these take a while to burn completely down. And so I think that was personal fault. That's it. That's it for candles. I have a few perfumes. So I'm still into my hibiscus from Crivelli. I adore that scent. I wore it for Valentine's Day. But there's a couple of fragrances that I picked up that um, are on the more affordable side that are a Sephora. First one is Father Figure. I think this has gone viral, but mm, this is such a beautiful scent. I prefer this one over Missing Person. It has that fig in it that makes it a little bit more unique. I get compliments when I use this and it's a it's a beautiful fragrance. The only thing that I really dislike is that mine came a little defective. So can you see how the cap is not going all the way on the bottom there? I'm not going to go swap it because I won't notice it when it's in my tray. The scent is so good. It lasts so well on me. I'm very impressed with this and I want to try more from Fleur. The next fragrance is from Ellis Brooklyn. It is called Après. Now, this one, I don't think it's for everybody. This has a lot of cedar wood, like it smells like pine, trees. It says here that it has uh, some berries. Let me see. Juniper berries and bourbon. Now what I smell, it is, this smells quite woodsy, but very heavy on the pine, on the, that tree scent. It's almost like you're going on vacation in a cabin and you're going in the snow, in walking in the forest. Uh, that's how this smells. I adore it. I do think that juniper berries makes it a little bit softer to where I can get a whiff of that actually after it settles down a little bit and it becomes a little bit more fresh. Um, it's not super dark necessary. It's just green. It's a lot of tree cedar wood. I love this though. It is not for everybody. Some people may think this is a little masculine, but I wore it. I love it. It works great on Andrew. So this is a great discovery. Now they sent me one fragrance. This I bought because it was on sale, but they sent me the fragrance Myth with the Peaches fragrance body spray. Now that, that one is okay. I think it's a little juvenile, like it's a little young. It's not as complex, so I don't think I'm going to keep that one. I may give it to my niece, but this one, for me, it's great. One face product, I mean skincare. I don't talk a lot about skincare because I think it's so personal and what works for me most likely won't work for a lot of people. I don't have sensitive skin at all, but I wanted to mention this one because it's been working very well for me and it's not very expensive. This is the Cos RX, the Vitamin C23. It is a, I think, Korean brand and I found it in mine on Amazon for about $24. Um, it's a great vitamin C. I use it in the morning. It has hyaluronic acid in it, super vitamin E. I really like it. I felt like it brightened up my face. I have some pigmentation right here on the cheeks and it kind of mellowed that down. So I really like it. It smells absolutely awful, like wet cat food. It's disgusting, but I don't mind that because if it gives me good skin, I will put up with the scent. So if you are sensitive to scent, this is absolute trash, the scent. It's awful, uh, but good results and affordable. I mean, I have used the SkinCeutical vitamin C's and a lot of very expensive ones. And I was going to say that I like that one better, but I feel like they're very close on me. They do very similar things. So thought I would mention it. I think those are all the non-makeup products. Well, the next one is kind of like a primer skincare. I have here the Ilia, the Base Face Milk. 
Now, this is more of a moisturizing product. It is that milky color. This is the first time I'm using this kind of pro product. I mainly use it for moisturizing, a little bit to prime under my makeup, and I really like it. This was sent to me, by the way. I'm trying to mention if anything was sent to me, that way you guys just, it's full disclosure, but that would not affect me by telling exactly how I feel about the product. Now, when it comes to makeup, I feel like I have tried so much makeup in the past couple of months that I was very particular with what I'm sharing today. The two face products, like foundations, are these two right here. The one I'm wearing today is the CL one. This is the Tint and Protect SPF 50. I picked this one back out about three weeks ago. It was like in a drawer and I redid my makeup room, organized everything, and I put this one right here where I use all my products. This is such a good foundation tint SPF all in one. Now, CL as a brand, I think everything has SPF in it. That's the whole idea behind the brand. And I love their blushes. I'm gonna talk about us a few blushes in just a little bit, but this is such a beautiful serum tint. It has, I would say, medium coverage I can build this up to a medium but it gives the most hydrating look and it's long lasting I love the color the color I have is for light medium and I use my fingers I just put it on my fingers and just blob it all around and it is beautiful I love this product it gives such good coverage it has a beautiful finish it's not too glowy doesn't feel sticky at all I have not powdered and I've had this makeup on for quite a bit product I think it is incredible mostly for me that I just don't love to wear full foundation daily a few drops of this great if I feel like I need more coverage in certain areas I can build that up so yeah, this has been used a lot. And of course, the Prada Foundation, I've talked so much about this product lately. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite foundation in my collection. I always get questions of which one's your absolute favorite? Is this better than this one and this one? And I completely understand where that comes from. But when it comes to foundations, I think it's a very difficult kind of question because there's not just one great foundation that I would pick over all of them. Uh, there's so many good foundations that are equally as good as this one, but lately I've just been gravitating towards this. Maybe I like the finish a little bit more, or right now my skin is in a certain condition that requires a different foundation. So I think it's just a very broad question of which one's my favorite foundation because I have so many but in the past few months, actually, since I discovered this foundation, I cannot put it down. These are, I would say, the two products that I've been using as a base almost exclusively. I've tried the Makeup Forever HD Glow. That hasn't become my favorite. I've tried other ones, but this, this is my go-to. For concealer, I have discovered the Cali Ray. Now, this is kind of new to me. I've only tested it out for maybe a week, but I really like this. This is kind of a concealer, corrector, illuminator all in one. I have three colors. I've already done a testing slash review on these. I can link it down below. I don't want to be redundant and say the same things, but I do enjoy the product. I think it's very hydrating. It covers well, I would say medium coverage, and I love the way it sits under the eyes. I've been putting it around the face if I want to highlight certain parts. But the three colors that I have, honestly, I find a use for all of them. I have the Warm Sun Glow, Golden Hour, and then Pale Sun. Done. If I had to only pick one, it would be Golden Hour. It's just a um, one and done kind of corrects, highlights. It also gives me some coverage as a concealer, but it's a serum, a very light on the skin. Not for people who like to cancel everything and full coverage. For so those people that like more of a natural makeup, something that doesn't feel like makeup. It just feels like you're putting a serum under your eyes. So this has been a new discovery that I really like. A powder that I want to mention is the Huda, but the peach color, the Peach Pie Easy Bake. I mean, I've always liked this powder, but this color, I think it's my favorite out of all the colors that she has. It's peachy, but it's not too peachy. 
it cancels a little bit the under eye and it's extremely blurring and smoothing. I mean, this is a powder. <laughs> if there ever was a blurring, smoothing powder, is this one. The Givenchy. I, I find that these go kind of head to head. They're both beautiful. I love them probably the same. I think the Givenchy is just a little bit more undetectable and lighter on the skin, whereas this is more of a heavy duty powder. Um, but I love them both. I just wanted to mention that this color is beautiful. A product for Makeup Forever that it's not new, but I picked it up in the past month is this product right here. This is a Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette Sculpt sculpting uh, the face sculpting palette <laughs> it has a weird long name so as you can see it has been very well loved i got it on sale and i've seen this around i think i had a very old version that i decluttered and when i saw it on sale i was like let me just get it i think it was about 60 dollars. this product is wonderful i can use it for foundation concealer highlighter, contour, bronzer. I can do my whole base with this product. It is very blendable, but it's not um, a wet, sticky formula. Once you blend it out, it stays put. I showed you just kind of using the contour and a little bit of the bronzer shade. Those two colors are probably my most used ones just because I like, I like the texture of the contour and the blendability and i like the colors i also really like the highlighters i think they're very soft but they are there i use it with my fingers and then i, I just like to have the foundation colors to kind of correct my face and sculpt it and i find this palette brilliant it's smaller than i thought it would be like compared to my hand you know it, it's small but you get so much product in here. The quality is incredible. The longevity on this is amazing. And I have it right here on my top drawer and I reach for it over and over again. And I thought you should know, I wanna say it's still on sale. I'm not 100% sure, I hope it is. The other bronzer that quickly became a favorite is the new Glossier Gel Bronzer. I've tested this out in a video and I adore this product so much it is the easiest blendable cream bronzer i guess it's not a cream bronzer it's more of a gel liquid um it's a very interesting texture it's not too pigmented when you swatch it it feels like it's gonna go everywhere and be very intense but it shears out quite um quite nicely this is a beautiful product it was a love at first application i have tried quite a lot of blushes but the the one that kind of took over are the new patrick ta blushes the spring collection the color i have on right now is not too much it is a beautiful slightly rosy neutral color it is my favorite it is the most beautiful everyday friendly you can do a sheer version of it you can build it up it gets a lot more pigment the more you apply it i love the tone i love that it's not too warm it's not too pink it has some rosiness in it so it's not too peachy it's a perfect shade i think anybody would love this shade it looks like it could be lighter but i've seen it on deeper skin tones swatched and it looked beautiful the other shades are gorgeous as well uh just enough it's a beautiful pink and then she's the moment i mean this is a statement blush gorgeous i'm gonna use this a lot in the summer uh, so these, without a doubt, have become favorites, even though I haven't had them for that long. The other blush I do want to mention are the CL New Colors from the same brand that has the skin tint. Now they have beautiful formula. These are liquid, but you have an applicator and you kind of put it on, it blends in, it has SPF in it. The colors, these two that she released are so beautiful. Let me swatch them for you. One is June and it's more of a burgundy deeper color. It's right here, but then you shear it out and it becomes a little bit bronzier. Oh, 
so beautiful. And then January, this color on my skin tone, not to brag, but I love the way this color looks on my skin tone. I'm going to blend this out right here. June looks nice on me. It looks like I've been in the sun and I have like uh, bronzy cheeks. But January, to me, it worked with my complexion so well. I have done a reel applying these. And I you can use it on lips. I've used this one in the center just to kind of brighten up that center. So the formula is incredible. They blend in very nicely. I just really like these new colors that she came out with. Those are all the blushes I wanted to mention. The last cheek product that I really enjoyed it is the new Chanel Balm in the shade Mermaid Glow. This is released with their spring collection. This has a beautiful shift in it. It's kind of um, has some gold and pink in it. When I swatched it on my hand, I decided not to pick it up because I was like, well, I kind of see like some shimmer in it and a slight glitter. But once I blended it on my cheeks, it was so beautiful, mesmerizing, and that I couldn't see the actual glitter on my cheeks. It, they just blended in so nicely, and it gives a very intense effect. You can put it on your eyelids. I put it on my lips as a lip topper. I really enjoy this color so, 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 so much. It's beautiful. It really is something special, and I usually skip on the balm ones. I have the transparent one and this one and that's it i never purchased them but this one really pulled me in i have two eyeshadow palettes to talk about the chanel 78 rivage i'm not going to talk much about this because it's sold out but i've done a review on this palette it's what i'm wearing today and i love it as you can see i have used these three shades so much that the imprint is completely gone I've used the blue maybe twice after my review, which is a lot for me because I don't I don't use these kinds of blue. But the other three, it's kind of that daily palette that I just reach for. If I want a little bit of a brown, I'll just reach for this one because it's the most beautiful brown, an everyday neutral brown. I have some shimmer. I have some sparkle here. I still look like I'm not too much and I'm still elegant. I adore this quad, so that, I'm not going to leave it there because I know it's sold out. Hopefully, they will bring it back. And then the other one is the Rabon Eyeshadow Duos. I have another color, and I really enjoyed that one. Um, I, I don't know where it is right now. It has the more purpley and silver in it. I've done, actually, a Valentine's Day eye look with that one. It's such a beautiful quality and formula the one I have here is all lights on me and I mean this is kind of <laughs> basic one I've used it in my last video oops you have this balm right here and then the sparkle slash topper on top it's smooth it's very smooth it's quite pigmented but then if you put it on top of the balm you can see how much more intense the color is. And surprisingly, I use the balm every single time I use this palette. I thought it was a waste and now I'm paying, I think this is $25. $25 for pretty much one eyeshadow, but I'm actually reaching for the balm because on me, it doesn't really crease every single eyeshadow creases a little bit on me. I have a really heavy line there. So it will get into that. But besides that, it stays put. And that's very easy for me to just kind of go like, oh, I'm done. It doesn't, the crease is gone. So I don't hold that against the balm because I would say 90% of my shadows do that. So this is the other product that I've been using on my eyes and that's about it. The rest is lips. The two lip liners I want to talk about are the new Freck lip liners. These are the Makeout Club. That's such a cool name uh, because this is a liner that does not move. It doesn't smudge. It is so long lasting. Um, even if I eat with these, they will last. Will they fade a little bit? Yes, but I'm always going to have some sort of a line with this. So they came out with six shades. I have four of them. If you want to see swatches, you can go to my testing new makeup. Uh, I've had done swatches there and showed you how they apply. They're creamy, very long lasting, a little bit on the waxy side. 
but because of that they last so long. And then the other color is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Icon Baby. This is one of the most natural lip liners that I have in my entire collection for my lips, for my lip shade. It's not too peachy, it's not too pink, it's not too brown. It's kind of mimicking the color of my lips a little bit, maybe half a shade deeper and a little bit more defined. I love this shade so much. And the other product that I really wanna mention because I have become a lip stain lover. These are the Sashu, I think I'm saying that right, the lip stains. It is not the easiest thing to apply. I think it takes a couple of times for you to try to learn how to use it, but once you use it, it's brilliant. I apply this in the morning or sometimes I will apply it at night, leave it for about 10 minutes. If I do it at night, I will apply it and leave it for maybe 15 to 20 minutes while I wash something that way the stain can really get into my lips and then wipe it all off. And in the morning, I'm, I'm, I wake up with a lipstick on or a lip line on. Or if I want to use this daily, I can leave it on for five minutes and I'll have a little bit of a stain. The longer I leave, the deeper the stain gets. My two favorite colors are Mauve 02 and Hazel 04. Today I tried Hazel for you guys. I don't think it turned out great because I took it off a little bit too early, but overall I use these by themselves with a lip gloss on top or a lip balm and they last on me all day. Throughout the day, they do fade a little bit, so they don't have that intensity all day long, but at the end of the day, I will still have a leftover kind of stain, and it's not splotchy the way I apply it. I've kind of learned you can use it as a liner, and what I do, I let that line sit for a little bit, and then I will put another layer kind of all over, except right in the the opening of the mouth right there so it won't catch on dryness. And then I leave that for a little bit less so you have almost that ombre effect. Again, it is not the easiest application. It may take you a few tries to learn how to use it, but once you get it, you get it. A lipstick formula that I've been testing out for maybe a month and a half are the Merit Matte Lipsticks. I love these. It's what I'm wearing today. They are so light, so um, glidey. They are not drying at all. They don't emphasize dryness. I love the colors that they came out with. And just overall, I adore this product. Today, I used the color Classic, and it may be a little deep because I had that stain underneath. I had the Freck lip liner under as well so it was definitely a little bit more pigmented but i can really make that product or that color look a little bit more natural and just softer um, besides that lipstick i have loved the new colors from l'oreal these are the l'oreal color reach the like skinny tube they came out with new colors and a lot of good nudes i love this formula but before they had such, I don't know, weird colors, not not good nudes. And now they came out with a variety, some more peachy, some more pink, some a little bit more mauve -y. Here are the new shades that I picked up. Starting from here, we have the 105, 108, 601, and 129. I feel like these are great new shades that are more wearable, nudes for dip different skin tones. And this formula is so comfortable. It is, again, drugstore. If you're on a budget, even if you're not on a budget, go check these out. The formula is great. It's not drying, a lot of pigment, good new colors, and a great release. I should do a reel with all the colors that I have, the nude ones. I think that would be helpful. And then the other ones are some glosses. The House Labs Gloss Oil Mixture Glaze. I don't know how they call these. I actually have four colors. I think one is in my bag. This is such a beautiful glossy a formula. It has such good pigment. They are 
so glossy. I'm very impressed. I have tried so many lip glosses, lip oils, lip plumpers lately. I'm like up to here with them. But this stand, stands out. Out of all of them, I think I like this formula the best. It's not sticky, but it has a grip to it. They last longer. I love the colors. And it's a great release from House Labs. I think these are around $26. I love it. Like this color right here, the red one, I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. But this is a beautiful color. Now, also Patrick Ta came out with some new lip plumping glosses. And I do like that as well. If I were to pick only one, I would go towards House Labs because it's, it's a little bit more glossy. But the Patrick Ta are a little bit thicker, you know, like that true gloss, whereas the House Lab is a little bit thinner and I would say even shinier than these, but this has a lot of pigment. It definitely plumps your lips and I like the colors that he came out with. There is that chocolatey one, so beautiful with a lip line and that on. It's very, very beautiful. This is probably the most neutral one out of them. It's in the color Need Her. I like it, it's beautiful. And the last product that I'm gonna mention are these. These are from Naturium. I became a little bit obsessed <laughs> with these. I don't use that word often because I don't like being obsessed with stuff, you know? But this, the fact that I have so many in such a short amount of time says a lot. These are a $10 lip, lip gloss balm. I think they're meant to be similar to the Summer Friday one. This is beautiful too, the, the birthday cake one. I use it all the time. But this has more pigment to it. And it's, dare I say, glossier than the Summer Friday. Also, they are $10. They have beautiful colors. Like this chai, is this the name of it? Chai? Such a stunning color. Then you have the camellia, the petal. All colors are so beautiful. If you have not gotten your hands on these and you need a lip balm, this is it. This is it. $10. It's amazing. I think they're sold out everywhere. That's the only issue. Let me put the chai on because I think this is my new favorite shade. It's just so glossy. And I like that it has pigment. I feel like I'm not wasting my money that I have different colors if they have a significant amount of pigment. I also like the applicator. I just love everything about this product. I know I'm late to the game. I think this is very popular. Um, that's why it's always sold out. But look at this color chai. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you had a relaxing time. Kind of separate yourself from the world for about 30 minutes or 40, 50. How long did this video end up being? One more thing before I let you go. If you're wondering about the Natasha Denona Hyper Natural Face Palette and why it's not in my favorites since I gave it such a rave review, it's because I've only used it twice, okay? This is new to me. I'm not gonna put a product in favorites just because I like it. I need to wear it and test it out, but this, I, I gave it rave reviews. So far, I absolutely love it, but it can't be my favorite when I've only used it a couple times. That's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. You had a relaxing time, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.